So we're either here to break some shit or see this thing haul ass. My ears, Jesus. Oh, oh my God. That foot to second was <laughs> wild. Woo. Woo. What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. First off, I wanna say you guys absolutely crushed it. Last video with the Speed 6, we got it up and ripping, up to 42 PSI of boost, and it's crazy. But I put a like challenge in that video if you hit 500 likes that we would launch this car at about 6,500 RPM, and you guys absolutely nailed it with likes going over 600 to 700 on the charts, and that is super sick. And uh, like I said, we promised you, that we've launched this car, but today's video, we're gonna be getting into mounting the slicks with the RX-7 FD wheels that we have and what all is involved with that. If this video hits 1,000 likes, I will be giving away a free part or a tune from Justin at Freak Tune uh, for Mazda, Mazda Speed 3, 6, you know, Focus RS, ST, anything of that nature and I think you guys can do it. You guys absolutely crushed the 500, it went over that, and it's so cool to see. I wanna start doing more of these like challenges in the videos because I think you guys are up for the challenge, and I'm gonna be giving away a lot of cool stuff if it happens, or doing some stuff on the channel for you guys to show my appreciation for your guys' support. So, let's jump into the video. We got the Speed 6 on the lift, because today, as I mentioned in the last video, we have a set of RX-7 FD wheels with Hoosier slicks. Got them all stacked over here. What we're doing now is uh, knocking out the old uh, wheel studs and getting the uh, ARP extended studs in here. And we got some spacers. And uh, we're gonna check fitment. I know on the front brakes, you gotta kinda shave a little bit of the caliper, but we'll see how that how that looks when we get to it but got it up on here try to knock some of this out tonight and uh there's a test and tune at the quarter mile uh friday so if everything goes as planned that's our plan so uh gonna see how it looks i really just want to see what these look like on here oh okay so Wheel studs and new lugs are on. The slicks fit this side. And wheel studs and stuff are on this side. I actually left last night. But I started grinding down the calipers, which is good because I'm going to repaint these after we're done. But I'm very close to being done grinding to fit the, wheel, the other wheels up front. I just knocked the studs out of this one. And I'm getting ready to put these in, so. this wheel's done like I said I'm gonna get to the grinding the calipers um, later on I just wanted to get the wheel studs on for now like I said the other side's really close but uh, like on this wheel you can see there's a bunch of room clearing these Evo wheels but there's a lot of meat on the back side of this caliper that needs to be shaved down in order to fit the 16 inch wheels um, just in the front the backs fit up no problem I'm about to pull the back off right now Pull the brakes off, do the wheel studs on this side, and then uh, I'll catch up with you guys when I'm done with this side. All right, rear is done. All four corners have extended wheel studs. Like I said, these are ARP wheel studs if you're looking for extended studs for your car. 
that is the part number 17708 and uh, you can get some or if you want us to order them we can order them for you Cost those but like I said the uh, the RX-7 wheels bolt right up to the back no clearance issues at all um, I can show you that real quick if you want here what you're gonna want is spacers I went with uh, like a hub centric spacer spacer just slip on not not bolt on uh, I mean that's just what I was recommended but they basically push on like that they're hub centric and then uh, I'll toss the wheel on here and that's what it looks like plenty of clearance in the rear I'll tug these down so that the spacer kind of sets itself in and uh, go from there. I'm really interested to see what this car does on a launch with these bad boys on them. They're 26 by 950 by 16, so these things should rip for sure. So on my first pull on the street, uh, when we were getting data logs for Justin, we heard like a slapping noise coming underneath the car and then it kind of disappeared. It's kind of weird, but I wanted to wait to get it on the lift. Well, I destroyed the boot on my drive shaft. And this is why, because there's like an O2 bung right there and the clearance was kind of tight, but it was fine. But I think under, you know, full load where this thing is just squatting hard, I think the angle got the best of it. The boot's uh, off and I have the, the actual little band right here. So I think what's gonna have to happen is we're gonna drop the drive shaft and probably just uh, redo it and and maybe get rid of this, uh, this other bung here just cause it kinda destroyed the boot and there's drive shaft grease all over the bar here, so. Nothing broken, just definitely not ideal. So uh, we're gonna get that fixed probably today. So yeah, get that fixed, simple fix. Honestly, just uh, user error on uh, not clearancing that more. Well, it was clear, but I think just didn't take an effect of uh, angle under load and that's what happens so nothing nothing too serious but yeah i just wanted to show you guys that because i uh i'm transparent man i show you guys everything comes with the territory man but we'll get back to it all right guys you've seen that i was talking about shaving the front brakes and honestly i didn't really like how it was turning out and i was i texted the guys over at damon motorsports and i talked to them and I said, hey, what do you guys do for your drag speed six with the front brakes? You know, did you shave them down or did you have some kind of drag brake set up on the car? And he told me something awesome that is a cool piece of information for you guys out there that are looking to get a smaller wheel on there to get more tire, um, whether it be for drag racing, autocross, whatever. I have the speed six brakes here and I was shaving them quite a bit and it was honestly becoming to the point where I was like, how much do I actually got to take off this? And I ground for a little while. Um, but they told me that the regular Mazda 6 front brakes bolt right up to the Speed 6 and it gives way more room for the tire, or for the wheel, sorry, and that we wouldn't have any clearance issues. So we actually went and got Mazda 6 front brakes. We got pads, rotors, and calipers. And they fit perfect. And there's so much more room because the caliper is way less bulky. This is still a pretty bulky caliper. And the stopping power is still going to be great. But we just went with a brand new set of everything in the front. And like I said, bolts right up. I used, you know, a 2007 Mazda 6 instead of a Speed 6. Um, and they fit right up. So what I'm going to do now for you guys, because I haven't even done it yet, is mount all of the FD wheels with the slicks on them on the car and drop this thing down to see what it looks like. Because... We are going to launch this car like a savage. And like I said, this car has never been launched yet after everything was done. So I'm really excited to see what it does. And we got to get, you know, a couple test hits done for you guys alone and for us so that we can 
kind of figure out what's going to work for a launch. I know it's hard to tell on the street versus a track, but just to get a couple down so that we know when we go to the track, hey, this is what we got to do. This is what works best on the launch and uh, kind of go from there so we can get some data. So I'm going to take these wheels off real quick, pop those on, and we're going to set this thing down to see what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Whoo. Oh my God. That is so sick. I definitely want to paint these wheels, but damn, got the meat. That thing's so sick. So with the Mazda 6 brakes, you can see how much clearance you have up there. These things look mean, dude. Oh my God. This is gonna be awesome. And Justin said to, Justin and the guys at Damon both said, uh, we're gonna roll with 15 PSI of tire pressure in the front, 18 in the rear, and we're gonna try to launch this thing at 6,000 6, to 6,500 RPM. You wanna keep the RPMs high, especially when you're first testing out a car, just cause you will uh, produce wheel spin, which is good, um, but damn. That is sick. What color should I paint these wheels or should I just leave them? You guys can let me know in the comments below, but man, that's a sight. Man, the car is looking spicy. I can't wait to launch this thing. Just pulling it out of the shop, you can feel how much lighter the wheels are when you're just turning the wheel back and forth. We've lost probably, you know, just a guesstimate, probably close to five to 10 pounds per wheel, which in rotating mass equals about 40 pounds a corner. Uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, don't quote me on that number wise, but that should be about what it is. But uh, yeah, it's uh, still super early in the morning here, um, but we're gonna be getting you guys some launch videos and hopefully get some people's reactions, uh, but you guys deserve it. Guys, and remember, hit that like button because Thousand likes, we're giving away parts or a tune from Justin at Free Tune. So let's get to it. Well, what do we got going on here? It is time, boys. So we got the slicks on. Everything's as good as it's going to be. <laughs> and we figure this is, we got to test this thing before we bring it to the track, just in case there's anything we need to address. So this is a first for all of us, including you guys watching. So, uh, we're gonna snap some pictures of this thing, get some good pictures, we just cleaned it up. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do some test launches, see how it goes. Uh, the only thing is the, the rears are kinda low. Um, I have brand new QA1 uh, racing springs for the back with a different spring rate. I'm just waiting on BC Racing uh, adjustable spring perches and those will be here tomorrow. So we just figured it it's still the street and it's the, the, tire, the tire pressure's up right now it's not like down like it would be at the track so this is just uh, a test we wanted you guys to come along for it and uh, last video like I said you guys crushed it so this is what you guys get you get to see it along with us uh, this has not been launched before on this <laughs> whole new setup I promise you it is everybody can test for it um, so we're either here to break some shit or see this thing haul ass so we're gonna get some shots around the car and uh, we'll see you in a minute
My ears, Jesus. That was insane. Second was wild. <laughs> Holy shit. That was insane. Dude, I grabbed second on flat foot and I was just like, ah! <laughs> Dude, it loved it. Dude, 20 pounds on these on a parking lot street and it grabbed. It was sketchy. Oh my lanta, dude. Squat tire. Really? Oh yeah. It didn't grab the tire though, so that's good. Woo! Woo! Look at this screenshot. Dude, she's a ripper. Oh my God. Look at this screenshot. I'm dead, dead hook. Rip it. God damn. <laughs> Dude, that was nuts. Dude, I'm telling you, I the first time when I bogged, it just hooked. Like, there was no slip at all. I was like, okay, I gotta slip the clutch more. As soon as I slipped the clutch, dude, first gear was like, gone. Like, it was so quick, and I was just like, in my head, I'm like, just flat foot second. Just banged it, and it was just like, gone. Before I knew it, I was like, coming up on the <laughs> island. Hoosiers holding it down. Hoosier, baby. Dude, that's sick. Wild. Well, it nothing broke. Nothing We're good. broke. We're good. Dude, Do it again. Head. I think I can see where you uh, flat foot chip second. Is it rub? Is it rub? No, not that. Tell I see. me, is this where you hit second? All right, we got it back at the shop. Everything went pretty well. Thing launched super hard. I was pretty impressed with uh, with with how well it hooked up actually on just like a regular parking lot kind of paved road and tires are at about 20 psi um, so not terrible I thought about I was thinking about airing them up before I went but it was actually kind of perfect for the street so it's kind of a, a good baseline to get definitely at the track we're probably gonna bring them down to like 15 in the front and 18 or so in the rear but the uh the transfer of weight into the back is heavy i mean this thing slammed like the we'll get a still shot pulled up on the screen but you can see how crazy the back wheels just sucked up into the wheel well um, but like i said i got those uh drag springs and rear spring like adjustable perches they'll well, those will be going in this week um but we figured we get a baseline now while we had everything we needed to get it to launch and uh we had a couple failed attempts if you don't feather the clutch out it just it just wants to eat so it's like had a couple that i bogged really bad and uh but once i feathered the clutch out enough it kind of just let loose but things are rocket i definitely think if we leave out of the hole like that at the track or better it's a it's a deep 10 second car all day in the quarter just unbelievable how fast it gets out of the hole especially for the size of the turbo it has and and everything but pretty sick fuel system's definitely ripping everything's doing really well after a couple of like launches the clutch was kind of getting not happy so we'll we'll try it again after everything cools off another day and and go back at it and see what's what but like i said it's 100 percent whole new setup on the whole thing from start to finish everything got yanked out of this car and we kind of put it back together with all new stuff and it's just working so we're pretty excited about that for sure but that's uh where we're gonna leave you on this one the plan is to get over to the quarter mile which is about an hour from us and this whole week is looking like shit because of rain again so I'm out of town the week after that so we're trying to plan to get out there because we definitely want to put this thing to test to see what it can do we'll see what happens i'm just overall happy that everything is uh is working the way it should you know i'm sure we'll have a couple bugs here and there to work out along the way but that's with any car but pretty excited to bring you guys along for that so that's about it oh everybody always keeps asking what this thing is hanging over here it's secondary o2 I just gotta take that out. We don't need those where we're going. I don't need it. We don't need it. But yeah, it's uh, the Innovate wideband fail safe. I need to put that back in and, and get that hooked up. So yeah, working pretty well. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.